Hello friends. So today I'm going to finally install my whale gusher galley pump. So it comes in a box like this. It's a pretty standard gusher galley, it's called. This is the one I got. Um, the uh, greatest factor of this pump, the greatest reason to have one of these on your boat, is that it can really help you control the amount of water that you use when you're underway, when you're on the hook, when you're cruising. It's easy to like leave the faucet on while you're doing dishes or something because that's what we you know we might do at home um, where we have unlimited amount of water. But um, I've been on too many passages on other people's boats where the water got tapped out and we had to get into the reserves and um, you don't want to do that, right? I don't want to do that, that's for sure. So I have a, a uh, working electric pump that came with the boat for my um, galley sink now. Um, I'm going to unhook it and just stow it away and keep it in case I want to use it for something else later. But um, my long-term solution is this right here. This is what I want. Um, so you you know you hook up your your to your uh, freshwater holding tank here, and then this goes up to your faucet. I'm gonna go ahead and install this now uh, before I redo my whole galley setup because me and my little brother Colby Thorpe uh, are going on a scuba trip, our first sailing trip together to Catalina next weekend. Actually, this coming weekend. Um, so. I need to, uh, I want to go ahead and get this installed. I'm, at the same time, I'm replacing all of the freshwater hose between the galley and the holding tank, uh, freshwater holding tank, and um, the vent. And uh, I was going to replace the like fill hose as well, but I took it down to West Marine, and when I saw it was like $8 a foot, I like had a heart attack. So I'm going to try to source that somewhere else. For now, we'll just put it put it on there. Um, we'll probably still drink um, water out of jugs that we bring for now until I get. I feel like the the forward tank is sanitized and everything. I still want to open it up and clean it all out. But one step at a time. Today we're going to install this beauty. Um, to install this, I'm going to be cutting a six inch by six inch hole um, just under my my uh, stove. And um, I'm going to recess it like a lot of people do so that this the foot pedal, which you step on, isn't sticking out because I don't want to, I can just imagine smashing my shin on it when I'm underway or stubbing my toe on it. So <clears throat> I want to go ahead and recess that in to the, under the, um, the stowage area, uh, under this, the stove. So I've, got, I've gone ahead and pre-gamed and drawn out my little square and we'll look at that in a second. And then um, we'll get to cutting out that hole. Uh, after everything's said and done, um, I'll come back and trim that all out in teak, so it'll be real pretty. But today we're gonna get the hole cut, and uh, we're gonna make a little mounting shelf out of this Euro ply. So that's gonna be on there. And then there'll be like a, another part that goes down that, that screws into the bulkhead under the um, in the stowage area. So this will mount to here and then th and it'll be epoxy down in the back and then this will come down and, and mount to the forward area. And then we'll go ahead and drill our hose, our holes for our hoses and everything. So um, one step at a time. Go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the square I'm gonna cut out and then we'll get to cutting. Okay, so here's our stove and right there, that pencil drawn area, that's what we're gonna cut out. This is my stowage down here. It needs to be painted, but I, I vacuumed it out and cleaned it out pretty good. We'll clean it out again once it's uh, we get done with all the cutting. But right now, we're going to go ahead and drill some holes and take a jigsaw to this hole and uh, get that cut out and see where we're at from there. I'm going to start out by drilling... Well, first we're going to start out by making sure there ain't nothing back here that we're going to drill into. I 
I'm going to start out by using this paddle bit to drill holes in the corners so I have an easy place to put my jigsaw in and uh, take it around. And um, this bulkhead is three quarters of an inch thick, so it's pretty heavy duty stuff. That's why I'm using a jigsaw and not my um, uh, oscillating multi tool. that's ready we can gear up with our jigsaw and get the hole cut we go. I'll clean up those these corners a bit and uh, sand that down so it's more level. We'll clean up our sawdust but here's how our pump's gonna be just in there and then we're gonna be in business. Okay so now a little bit of the design phase. Um, got our board in there trying to determine how much so we got it going back like that there's going to be another board that's like a support that comes down like that and bolts in through to this through to this bulkhead and um, maybe even another foot for support I'm not sure yet so uh, I don't want it to stick out at all. I want it to be right, right, just perfectly kind of even. So I want it about there. So that gives us a rough idea about where we need to cut this first board. And then we'll go to building it out. I'm going to build it out as like a kind of a complete box. So that when you look there, it's nice looking. And there's not stuff that we have stowed in there popping out or getting under the pump or... Um, it'll just be a little enclosed like laminated box that the pump lives in So now it's time to start monkeying with this board and uh, making some cuts and and Kind of get it dry fit and uh, then we'll go from there Okay, so I've made my little shelf and I have a couple pieces on there now to kind of get it to the height It needs to be before I build my little enclosure box. So let's check it out that's kind of where it's going to live. It's not level right now because I haven't screwed it in, but now we're going to build walls here and a face. And um, once we get it all happy, then we'll drill our holes in the uh, bulkhead to under the galley sink so that the hoses can go in there. Make sure that's all chill. And um, bolt it all down. Right now I'm going to pull this out. I've measured out. I want to have my mount holes for the pump three inches away from the edge of the shelf. And so that's going to give me um, my distance for my little box enclosure that I'm about to make. Um, I hope I have enough scrap. I think I do. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to get this finished. 
Okay, so I've cut out my little enclosure. This is gonna go behind it. I need to cut a little slot right here that this part will travel up and, that this lever will travel up and down inside. Um, so I need to figure out what the throw is as far as like how much clearance I need. And um, I'm probably gonna cut that with my uh, multi-tool. Um, kind of looks like a little stage. Maybe I'll make some red curtains for it. Uh, so once I get that cut, I can screw the enclosure together and then um, we can get it fastened down to the um, little shelf under there and uh, see how everything sits so we know exactly where our hoses need to go through under the galley. So I got my little hole cut. Looks like a little door. That's going to go like that. And then we got our walls that'll go here to make up our little enclosure. And then this whole thing mounts in our hole. That way when you look in there, it looks nice and clean. It's easier to keep clean. And uh, I, d I don't see any need on putting a top on it. So um, I just need to uh, screw this together, all these little bits together. I'll do this enclosure as one piece, and then um, we'll set it down in there and see where we need to drill our holes for our hoses. All right, so we got our little enclosure made. She ain't pretty, but she's made out of scraps, and she's going to get the job done just perfect. And now we got our whale gusher, and the trick here is to get this, this part, into there. And they've made it so that you can take this foot pedal off. It's like thick rubber. And that's how you can get it into this like slotted area. I'm going to be mount screwing the whale gusher down in the back. And so that's how, that's how she's going to be down there. If you have a more contemporary boat with more floor space or like an isolated galley area to where um, your uh, foot pump isn't going to be in the main thoroughfare. Um, this is a cool option to where you can just cut that little bitty hole in your bulkhead and then mount this right on the back of the bulkhead. I'll show you. These things have m three different points where you can screw it in. So you've got three points here. You've got points on the feet and then you have them aft. So One's on the back, so you can mount it here, you can mount it here, you can mount it here. You've got lots of options. So if you do, if you have a bigger boat or a more contemporary boat, then um, that's a really cool option. Then it's just sticking right out and you can pump it and it's easy. <clears throat> For us, on our beautiful 1965 Alberg 30, we only have 22 inches of cabin sole. That's as wide as it gets throughout the entire boat. So we don't have a lot of space to play around with. And I, I just knew that I was going to, that thing is going to bite me uh, if I had it sticking out in our limited space. Um, so that's why I went ahead and it's more complicated the way I did it. But um, it's what we had to do for this application. But like I said, if you have uh, more space to play with and like, uh, you know, one of your like horseshoe galleys or like a, a, a much wider area, then this is a really cool option just to build into your bulkhead. Um, so I'm going to mount this in, and then um, we're going to screw it into place temporarily so I can mark where the we have our, our hoses. This one's going to come from like underneath. This one's gonna need, gonna, we're going to need to use a paddle bit to drill a hole under the galley sink so that this can go to the faucet and um, then she's ready to, to be in her place and start getting hoses hooked up. So we're racing daylight a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and get to this. Alright, I got it mounted. Two in the bottom, two into the like bulkhead part of the enclosure. Let's go ahead and squeak it in here. Uh. 
So that's where that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily screw it into place. the trim that's our little pedal that's how it works it's gonna be cool it'll look nice when I get this teak trim now we got it screwed into place I need to crawl up in this hole and mark on the bulkhead where I need to drill my hole with the paddle bit Once I get that marked, then I can pull the whole thing out again and uh, get in there. It's going to be a bit of a guessing game, but I'll just do a big enough hole, paddle bit hole, bigger than the hose, so we got room to play with. And then uh, when we go to hook up the hoses, I think the best way to do it is to have this thing unscrewed from here, back over here, all the hoses coming through. We'll attach them to the well gusher and then send the hose into there. It'll be easier to get in there. Well, I say easier. It's not going to be easy because it's tight. Um, and then this hose is going to run all the way forward to our water tank. So I'm marked on the bulkhead. We'll see, uh, open this, make sure there's nothing on the other side, and go ahead and do a paddle bed hole so we can get our hose that goes to the faucet and um, move on from there. On the next episode, we finish our galley pump install 